Contemplating Today's Gospel Liturgical Day, October 18th, Feast of St. Luke, Evangelist The Gospel According to Luke The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves payment. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Commentary by Father Yu Torcal from Tarragona, Spain The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Today on the Feast of St. Luke, the Evangelist of Christ's gentleness and meekness. The Church proclaims this gospel in which the main traits that Christ's apostles must have are established. In the first place, the apostles have been directly called by the Lord and mandated by Him to go out on His behalf. It is Jesus Himself who calls whom He wants to entrust with a concrete mission. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples, whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. And because the apostle has been delegated by the Lord, he is, on top of everything else, entirely dependent upon him. Carry no money bag no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Jesus' prohibition to his disciples mostly implies they must completely rely on their Lord Jesus, abandoning themselves to him, even to the point of leaving in his hands whatever is most essential for their lives. The Lord who takes care of the iris flowers in the prairie and feeds the little birds, wants his disciples to look in the first place for the kingdom of heaven and do not seek what you are to eat and what you are to drink and do not worry anymore. All the nations of the world seek for these things and your father knows that you need them the apostles are still those who prepare the path for their Lord by announcing his peace and healing the sick, thus providing evidence of the coming of his kingdom. The apostles' task is therefore of paramount importance in and for the life of the church because the welcoming of the master amongst men in the future will depend upon it. The best testimony of the feast of an evangelist who has narrated the announcement of the good news is to make us think of the apostolic and evangelizing dimension of our Christian life. <music>